what's up? Welcome back to Mark's Wheels and Wings. Thanks for stopping by again. It's been a while since my last post uh, about the uh, Skybolt intro, uh, but here we are. I'm gonna get back to work again and uh, show you some more videos on uh, the process I've taken to go through uh, the building of my Skybolt. So before we get going, I just wanna talk about a couple of organizations that have uh, helped me with my build process so far. These are not paid advertisements. I'm not receiving any money from these, uh, but uh, do, a favor, do me a favor and check out uh, these people. First is uh, EAA, Experimental Aircraft Association. They put out a nice magazine called Sport Aviation. It's, uh, when you go and join the EAA, there's a wealth of knowledge that they have there. They have thousands of how-to videos and webinars and everything else. And it's a nice magazine and they have nice how-tos in, uh, in print and so, I like using that one. Next one is kit planes. Same reason I like reading kit planes is uh, how to's. I usually get my uh, magazine in the mail and then I start from the back and look at all the how to's before I ever get to, to work on the other stuff. But they've got a lot of good info in there as well. Last one is a website called the Biplane Forum, biplaneforum.com. Uh, about probably 20 years worth of experience uh, and posts and everything from builders of all kinds of airplanes with two wings, uh, notably the Skybolt, as well as the Pitts, Acroduster, all kinds of other stuff. So they uh, put a really good website together and have a lot of good information there as well. They also have the unofficial, not builders manual Builder's Manual, which is more or less a compilation of uh, 20 years worth of posts on construction and techniques and everything else for the Skybolt. You can subscribe to that one in a electronic format with PDFs. And then what I did is I just took the whole thing and uh, downloaded it, sent it over to my local print shop, and then I printed out the whole thing just so I could have a paper copy of everything right there. I still have it on my iPad as well. So that just helps me with everything uh, that I need to get going with. But check them out, biplaneforum.com, and see what they have to say over there. I think in the last video I said that I spent about a year worth of uh, time just researching and learning how to do things and everything else. And when it finally came time to see if building this airplane was going to be the right thing for me. Uh, I took some advice from the uh, Skybolt build manual and they said just start with one project and go from there. So I started off with the rudder pedals and I figured that'll be my test run, my test project and if I uh, have fun with that, if I enjoy what I'm doing and it seems like I'm doing well then I'll just move on from there. So in this video, we'll talk about uh, my process on the rotor pedals. I don't have live video of any of that, so it's just based on pictures from my builder's log, but hopefully uh, it gives you the idea of what I uh, did along the way. First, you need some square jigs. So draw them up nice and square on a piece of plywood, put in all your locator blocks. That way you can have everything built the same the exact same dimension since you're building four pedals you need uh, all the help you can get on keeping them all consistent and square I initially started notching the tubes with a hole saw on my drill press but you can also find a tubing notcher at uh, several different places I ended up actually just doing the rest of uh, all of my project notching the tubes with an angle grinder These pedals are all built straight from the spec on the plans, so no modifications yet. And next here, starting into the brake pedals for both front and uh, rear pedals, uh, I ended up using just a hand saw, just a hack saw and a 45 degree miter box in order to make nice, precise cuts on these to make mitering up the brake pedals a lot easier. Now some of these welds may look just a little bit rough, but they are all viable welds. And my technique's gotten a lot better just with practice throughout the whole project. 
I do plan on one small plans adjustment to the pedals and that's just at the cable attachment plate and uh, modifying that so that I can make the rudder pedals adjustable in length. That being the distance from the pilot seat to the actual rudder pedal itself. So there you have it. Thanks for watching once again. Next videos to come, I'll start talking about the uh, fabrication of the fuselage and everything that we've uh, done since then. So once again, thanks for stopping by and we'll see you next time.